Hey, we're all doing life, but who knew it could be this funny? Thanks for checking out our podcast. This is Doing Life with Maria and Chad. And Chad, I'm going to have to tattle on my husband. I will tell you a little bit later on in the podcast. But my husband spit on me in the middle of the night. Is this something that he does normally? Uh, Not in recent years, no. (laughs) Oh, gross. Let's kick things off, Maria, with a great suggestion from a listener to our podcast. Uh, This came in on Facebook. And that's why I'm doing it at the start of the show, because I said, why don't you give out the phone number at the beginning of the show so people can put it in their phones? They can leave messages for you. Is this okay? Is this a good idea? Yeah, I think it's a great idea. Do it. All right. Phone number. Put it in your phones. Area code 424-235-3657. Again, what's that number, Maria? 424 235 Three six five seven, and you can call <laughs> right now. You can call anytime, right? Day or night, day, leave a message. Day or night, <laughs> no, uh, yeah. You can answer our final question, which will be coming up later on in today's podcast. Or if you have any comments about anything we're about to discuss, that is our phone number. I am so excited today, Maria, to share with you an observation that I had because it just made me smirk. Okay. <laughs> Now, go ahead. I don't know how many times you watch you watch more commercials than I do. I, I tend to fast forward through them and watch a lot of stuff online. But maybe you've mm-hmm. seen have you seen the um, commercials for Progressive where they're kind of making fun of old people? I I love those commercials. We all see it. Don't say any. We all see it. Blue. <laughs> that that's so funny. Okay, that's the clip I pulled. Listen to this. You're looking oh. for a grab brush. This Gar- is the- Did he ask for your help? No, no, no. We all see it. <laughs> we all see it. He has blue hair. Okay. Blue. Progressive can't. <laughs> all right, so if, if you haven't seen the commercial, there's a guy in a store that has blue hair, and it's, they're basically, imagine going to a store with your parents, and they have to comment. They can't just ignore it and move on with their life. They saw the guy with the blue hair, and he, they have to say something. Um, right, right. So the reason it reminded me of these progressive commercials, which I think are just genius, uh, I went hiking the other day, and I, I uh, we've talked about it on previous podcasts, but we have a puppy, and we have to get her exercise, and so if I take her when I'm exercising, that kills two birds with one stone. Of course. So we went to the pet store, and we bought shoes for our dog. Um which are sometimes sold in twos. You got to get four. They have four feet. So we got the four to cover her feet, and I took our dog hiking. Uh, and usually when I hike, I'll listen to music. It just is, makes the time go faster, and I like to, you know, when I'm alone, I have a chance to do that. So it's my dog, my headphones. We're out hiking in uh, beautiful Tonto National Forest by the Superstition Mountains. Okay? Okay, yes. So I get the shoes on our dog, all leashed up, ready to go. And I begin my hike. And this was, it must have been retirement day at the park. (laughs) Because (laughs) everybody that I encountered, uh, especially like before you start climbing at the lower uh, altitudes of the mountain, Uh were were older people. And probably not even from here. They're probably on vacation and they wanted to go out and see the sights. Guess what happens? The, the, The snowbirds. The snowbirds. The snowbirds. What happens when I walk past these people? I don't know. I'm wearing my headphones, just keeping to myself, and every, not just some of them, every single elderly person says, oh, that dog has shoes. Did you see, <laughs> did you see the dog's shoes? But, but here's the greatest thing. Most of them want to have a conversation with me about it. And I have headphones on. I'm hiking. Like, I'm just passing them in a very right. COVID-safe way, trying not to hang out. But like I have the headphones on and there's late there. This one lady's like, where'd you get the shoes? Do you think they sell them everywhere? Are they hard to get on your dog? Like it's just rapid fire questions. And I'm just walking past them. And it totally reminded me of the progressive commercial. Like they just wanted somebody to talk with. I love that story so much because apparently I'm super old because those commercials I do everything. <laughs> I do. I do everything. I give the waiter my name. I I offer suggestions to people who are in a store and they don't care about me or my suggestions. 
And I would have commented on your dog's shoes. <laughs> Look, the dog has shoes. I mean, every variation of that comment I heard, I'm not exaggerating, in like an hour and a half hike, I probably heard 15 people say the same thing. <laughs> Did you see the dog has shoes? Look, the dog has shoes. Where'd you get your shoes? The dog like the shoes? You know, like all these, and I, I have headphones on, but I can still hear them, right? You needed to have little business cards made up that said, you know, my dog has shoes because she's a puppy and the terrain is rough. Uh, you can get them at Petco or PetSmart or online, Amazon.com. <laughs> uh, they come in various sizes, small, medium, large, extra large. Uh, you can buy them in pairs or in four packs. You need four, so make sure if it comes in pairs, you get two packs. You know? <laughs> yeah, it's, it, it's almost necessary. And it's funny because the first time, I guess there wasn't as many people out there. But because the weather's nice and there are snowbirds yeah. and people are traveling more now for some reason, uh, I, I just noticed that and I'm like, wow. It was uh, it was funny to me. Um, how about you? What's going on with you? What's what's going on with you, Maria? Well, the whole dog hiking thing made me think of something that we didn't pre-talk about. Yeah, uh, my husband. We've had quite the weather recently. Uh, for those of you not in Arizona, we've actually had rain and snow and sleet and hail. I mean, it's a whole weatherman's dream, you know. Um, But my husband and I, we finished dinner and I was watching some random TV show and he goes, hey, let's take the dog for a walk. And I'm like, okay, let me finish my show. So we finished watching the show, get the dog in her collar and her leash and everything. We head outside, starts thundering and lightning. The walk lasted all of about five minutes because (laughs) downpour, (laughs) downpour. What so... and. (laughs) It was kind of sad. So anyway, so that was a side note. So I have to tell you, my husband spit on me in the middle of the night. Uh, How does he, does he think you're something else? Is he having a dream? Well, it wasn't like a loogie spit. Yeah. I'll I'll say that. Uh So my husband will start falling asleep. And I'm going to try to explain this the best I can because I'm not really sure how to do it. But he'll start falling asleep and then he gets like drainage down his throat and he starts like coughing and hacking and he kind of wakes himself up. Does that make sense? Does he have uh, sleep apnea? Uh, probably, okay. but he is not on the machines or anything like that. Okay. So, yeah, and I will like listen to his breathing. It's funny you say that because sometimes I'm like, all right, he hasn't like taken a breath in like 90 seconds. Holy you know? moly. Wow. <laughs> like maybe I should like make sure he's alive. Yeah. But anyway, so... We're watching Schitt's Creek. We just started the series. And they're only half hour. They're like 22 minutes. And he falls asleep through the first one. (laughs) So that means I can't watch the second one because this is our our team effort. We're going to watch it together. Right. But he's leaning toward me. He's like facing me. He's on his side and he's facing me. And so I get out my Kindle and I'm going to read because I'm not quite ready to go to sleep yet. And all of a sudden... (laughs) <laughs> and he spits on me like the freaking alien movie with all this poison on my face. And I'm like, dude, you spit on me. And he's asleep. And he goes, I'm sorry. And he's like trying to wipe it off, off my face. And it's disgusting. Like I get up and I wash my face because I don't know what's in his mouth. Right. You know? <laughs> And then this morning I go, dude, you spit on me. He goes, did I? I don't remember that. I go, well, you did try to wipe it off. He goes, yeah, I don't remember that. <laughs> yeah, you may want to get him tested if he's, you know, that that doesn't sound medically correct. Does, is he a guy that drools all over his pillow? Does he have a big wet spot when he wakes up in the morning? Um, Not always, no. Huh. Um, He's trying to sleep on his back because that's, you know, that's better. But when he does that, that's when he chokes and he like coughs and wakes himself up. And I, I don't know what the hell's going on inside, but he needs he needs some help. And I've actually brought up the whole sleep apnea thing. And he's like, I don't have that. I'm like, OK, but you did spit on me. Thank yeah, you. It's, uh, I don't want to tell him what to do, but he should get checked. <laughs> tell him what to do. <laughs> well, I need to get to listen to you. Uh, I will. I will text him. I promise. And uh, I want to text your daughter. I'm going to uh, a bachelor party this weekend. And I thought. She may know because she's done the beer Olympics before. Oh, two or three times. Yeah. So what is involved in that? I mean, you're playing your uh, flip cup. Uh, you're playing. I don't know. What do you play? Um, you shotgun beer. Beer pong. I'm sure there's beer pong. Um, Thunderstruck. There's, what's Thunderstruck? Oh, you haven't played Thunderstruck? 
We just no, did that. What we just did that? that not too long ago. So you play the song Thunderstruck by ACDC, right? <laughs> yes. And then you, you're like in a group of people. Uh, and then every time the word thunder is said, you take a drink. Oh, wouldn't you get really drunk fast? Uh, yeah, the song is has like 34 thunders in it. <laughs> I think is is what we figured out. And uh, yeah, you go around in a circle. We did it with, um, well, it's a long story. But but, but yeah, I, I'm guessing that will be part of the uh, the Beer Olympics. I'm trying to think what else is involved. Well, well, you'll have to text her and tell her it's important then that she texts you back because I know she's been kind of a, a wiener and hasn't texted you back. But this girl and uh, producer Dan, I'll try to find the photo. Maybe I can get it from her. But they put together when she did the Beer Olympics. This is in the like fraternities and sororities or whatever. Yeah. Her team, they actually drafted teams. Oh, my gosh. Like for the Beer Olympics. Like the the fraternities would go, all right, uh, my first pick is Chad Mitchell yeah. or whatever. Mm-hmm. So anyway, Lucy was drafted to team whatever the hell it was. And they had a trophy. Like it was made out of like beer cans and painted gold. It was pretty flippin' awesome. And Lucy has a picture of her holding the trophy. I mean this I as a compliment. It. I bet your daughter would be very good at the Beer Olympics. <laughs> you know? She no. They she was a high pick. Yeah. For girls, she was a high pick. And and each of the teams, and I wanna I I'm gonna have to find out with your Beer Olympics if each of you is gonna be represented by a different country. Because it is the Olympics. Oh. Everybody has to be a different country. Okay. And so I don't remember what country she was or what time, but they were all Team Canada, Team USA, you know, whatever. I am I am just a guest on this bachelor party. I'm, I'm not organizing, so I'm kind of, I'll, I'll give you an update uh, on our next podcast, <laughs> how it goes. So that's going to be kind of interesting. Um, but I, since, since we're talking about Lucy, uh, on the last podcast, we were talking about her graduating college, starting her first job. And then you and your husband, Eric, were thinking about trying to give her more of her bills to pay. Is there any update on that? Have you cut her off from mom's teat? No, the teat is still flowing with uh, milk money. (laughs) (laughs) Milk money. The milk money is still reaching her account. Okay, so you haven't put down your foot yet. (laughs) But I thought this was funny. So last Sunday was the playoffs, right? Yeah. Uh, Tampa Bay Buccaneers and the Packers. You know, I'm a Packer fan. And then what was it? The Chiefs and the Bills. Col- the Bills. Col- Bills. Yes. The Chiefs and the Bills. Yep. So anyway, we told Lucy, we're like, hey, why don't you drive up? We can watch the games together. We'll make wings in the air fryer, you know, that kind of thing. And she has. Now, this is, you know, she's a 22 year old kid. At the time, she had like 1600 bucks in her savings account. Okay. Which is like a decent chunk for a kid. Oh, yeah. You know? Yeah. And she goes, I don't have any gas money. I can't come up there. What? And I go, yeah, you do. <laughs> and she goes, no. And and like on one hand, I'm happy that she thinks 1600 bucks, she doesn't have any money. So, I mean, I'm happy that she's not spending every dime she has. But on the other hand, my husband said she's working it because I said, well, I would have sent her 20 bucks for gas. He goes, exactly. You're not sending her gas money. <laughs> Yeah, these kids, they figure out a way to get your money. And, and is she she kept her boots, right? The Doc Martens? She got some new Doc Martens? Oh, yeah, the $180 boots. Oh, yeah, she still has those. Fantastic. Well, at least she, maybe she'll get some gas money one day. Um, do you want to talk about this new Coke product? Oh, so I thought about you when I saw this. You kind of make fun of me because I want to try all the new products. Yes. Um, Coke recently has had different flavors. Obviously, they've had Cherry Coke. They've had Vanilla. They've had Orange which I actually really like, the orange Coke. Oh, really? Okay. This this one has you written all over it. Coca-Cola with coffee just launched nationwide. I'm drinking, and there's also a sugar-free version. I'm version. drinking iced coffee right now. <laughs> the cans are a mix of Coke and coffee and come in three flavors. So there's like a dark blend, a caramel, and I think there's a vanilla as well. But you always ask me, would I try that? Uh, I don't really like cold coffee, but you... Would you? I would give it a try. I mean, I think for me, it would be more of a convenience thing. If like I didn't have something and I go to a gas station, like try it that way. This is what they posted mm-hmm. on YouTube about it. Now you can take your coffee break with bubbles. Introducing Coca-Cola with coffee infused with Brazilian coffee. Now it only has half the caffeine of a regular cup of coffee. Oh, but you probably so get the sugar, like- right? 
Yeah. From the Coke? It has double the caffeine of a regular Coke. So it has more caffeine than a regular Coke, but not as much if you're just going to drink coffee. Okay. So. Well, I heard something, and I didn't want to bring it up uh, in advance, but you mentioned your air fryer, and I'm guessing that's going to be part of your answer to my question. (laughs) If I'm coming to your house, and again, we're all in a pandemic, people aren't socially visiting too much, but if I come to your house and you only have 10 minutes to make me dinner, what are you making in 2021? Ooh, um, that is called takeout. <laughs> in 10 minutes? How do you know you got to do it from something in your house? Oh, oh okay. Yeah, I'm a surprise um, guest. Okay, it's a surprise guest, and I have to make... I would not use the air fryer because we have the air fryer um, toaster oven. Okay. So it still takes like 30 minutes to do stuff. Okay. It just heats up quicker, and it's better all around cooking. But if, if you come over, uh, right now in my fridge, I have eggs and bacon... And um, we have tortillas from Mexico. So I would make you amazing breakfast burritos. You, Eggs. You are pretty much average with your answer. I mean, not average in a bad oh. way. That's what most people said. <laughs> uh, third of Americans, according to this survey, said can whip together an ultra fast dinner in just 10 minutes. Uh, the number one things that they make egg sandwiches. Oh, okay. Grilled cheeses, hamburgers, hot dogs. And then microwave meals, which is, oh, eh, I don't know. I've actually been, you'd be proud of me. I've been getting more involved in the kitchen here lately. I help Really? Your, your wife, wait, wait, wait. Your wife lets you in the kitchen? I am uh, officially the sous <laughs> chef uh, for my wife. And I've been helping. I don't do the whole process, but I've been helping. I'll tell you what I did. Over the weekend, I helped her prepare these fried pickles that weren't really fried they were baked in the oven after we did them okay so i'll tell you what i did because i was so proud of my my work i took the pickle (laughs) out of the jar and then i dried it off and then i dipped it in some stuff that my wife had made and then i put the breading on it and then i put it on this tray they had like a little uh it wasn't directly on the pan it was like elevated so it would uh heat it up properly like a little great thing thank you great that's the word i was looking at. great it was mm-hmm. great and yesterday <clears throat> i chefed up the marinade for the flank steak that we put on the grill last night wow i mean i did just follow the instructions that my wife texted me from work but it tasted really good so i'm getting more confident in the kitchen well let me ask you this about the pickles let's go back to the pickles yes did you bake the pickles whole or did you actually chop them up into little rings? They were just hamburger dills, like the slices. Oh, got it. So you, got it, got it, so got you it. take them out, you dry them, you put the special sauce on it, and then you put the little crumbly <laughs> things on there, and they were delicious. They were fantastic. Okay, can I brag while we're talking food? Let, let's do it. It's a cooking hour. What you got? Okay, so we bought frozen chicken wings from Costco. Uh-huh. You get this huge bag for 25 bucks. Okay. And we thawed them out. My husband put a dry rub on them. We also did a marinade with Frank's and butter and Worcestershire sauce. I don't know if I said that right. You got it. Is that is that close? Yeah. And we put the chicken wings in the in the air fryer thing. Yeah. They came out amazing. Really? And you know me. I don't like to eat food off the bone. Yeah. These were amazing. You ate it off so the bone. So if you Yes, I did. I know, crazy, right? That is that is very so, surprising. So when you and Steph come over, when all this shitty pandemic stuff is over, right. you guys are going to come over, we're going to sit on the new patio, and Eric will make chicken wings. <laughs> okay, and by then you'll be eating pizza, because I know you don't like pizza. Everything's going to change by uh, then. You know, hmm. I just have mm. never understood how somebody could not like pizza. Um, I like all the parts of pizza. I mean, I like the sauce and I like the bread and the cheese. I just don't like it all together. What have you been watching other than uh, Schitt's Creek? What are you guys uh, watching on TV? You know, I just, before I came in, I had to end my last episode. Before I came in to record the podcast, I've been watching this show and it's called Blown Away. What's that? And this is a competition show of people who do blown glass. Okay. So they're artists and they're sculptors. And they make these beautiful vessels and artwork and everything like that. And I'm watching it, and I think it's very interesting. I I love art. Um, I think uh, blown glass, people don't get enough credit for the people who actually do blown glass very well. 
and I've learned that from this show. But my husband is like, what the hell are you watching? I'm like, I was called blown away. He goes, they're going to make a competition show about anything. What the hell? This is stupid. Blah. <laughs> I, I think I'm with your husband. I remember one of our school field trips when I was a kid. We went to like this old timey village, you know, and you, and you go there and the, there's people dressed up in the, the dated garb from back in the day. Oh, yeah, yeah. And they were doing yeah. a, a lesson on blowing glass. And I think I was tuned out really quick. But I'm assuming these people are very entertaining and they've made it a... A fun show to watch? Is, is it a, a Netflix? I believe so. Okay. I Probably. I mean, I, I need to pay closer attention. I just see, yeah, it's got to be Netflix. Let me... So it's called... Good. It's called Blown Away. Just just watch it. It's 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 interesting. I will check it out. I got to check The Wilds. You recommended that last week, and I haven't had a chance yes, to get to that. Yeah, that's super good, too. The one I just finished... Uh, have I mentioned Red Oaks to you? No. So that's Amazon Prime. Uh, Paul Reiser... Okay is in it um and then some other people that you know but i don't know their names off the top of my head but it it actually came out in like 2014 and there are mm-hmm. three seasons and what drew what drew me to it i think it was recommended say it said if you like caddyshack you'll like this show <laughs> because it's it's the whole first season is all about like all the stuff that happens at this country club and paul riser oh. is like the president of the country club um, but yeah, I, I thought it was really good. The second and third season's not as strong, uh, but I finally finished the third season. And it's funny that you mentioned having to wait for your husband to watch Shit's Creek because Red Oak was a show that I started on my own. So I knew if there was uh-huh. like, if I had time to watch TV by myself, this is the show that I watch. If I have time to watch TV with the family, it's Shit's Creek because we're trying to catch up on that right now. So. so I have a question. I'm raising my hand. Yes. Did you ever watch The Lie? Because you were supposed to watch I that. Gotta, I got to write that down. Yes. I, I have not written, wrote, uh, watched it yet, but it's on my list. I'm going to write it down right now. As again. you put it on your list now. The lie <laughs> in the wild. No, I, I, that was actually one of the ones that was recommended on our Facebook page, but I got to watch that yeah. one. Um, so I'll try. I've got the, the bachelorette party. My daughter's birthday is this weekend. She'll be a 15-year-old on Saturday. Oh, my gosh. Little Georgia is going to be 15. So we'll have stories from uh, the bachelorette party, our bachelor party, and the um, and the birthday coming up this next week. But I want to do this. Let's do our um, final question. Looking for our official sounder here. Uh, crap, where are you at? Here we go. The final question. All right, final question for this week is a fun one. Uh, you can look on our Facebook page for some of the comments that have already come in. If you could get an iconic prop from a movie as a gift, what would you want, Maria? Oh, this is so easy. It would have to be like the right size, and I'm sure it wouldn't be. Fonzie's jacket from Happy Days. I think, don't quote me on this, I think that's in the Smithsonian. Oh, really? It should be. I, it should be. I think that, oh, that would be pretty sweet. All right, so Fonzie's jacket. And if you, if I'm correct too, I think it's also not black. It's like a dark brown. Oh. Did you know that? I don't want it now. <laughs> no, I just <laughs> random stuff that I've picked up along the way. So now you know. Uh, I would pick uh, the DeLorean from Back to the Future. Oh. I When that movie okay. came out, uh, I was like getting into driving age. And I remember how cool I thought that car was. Uh, fast forward to after college, this guy that I went to college with actually bought one of them and he oh, wow. he hated it. He was he got it for the same reason, like he always wanted it. And I think it was like super heavy and just always was breaking down and having issues with it. Um, well, did I hear that like the DeLoreans were pretty much pieces of shit? Uh, I think in you're general. right. Like they ran, they ran poorly and they broke down a lot, like you said. Yeah, the, I was looking at some of these comments. My uh, really impressed me. This was a real deep cut. John on our Facebook page said, "Do you remember the the movie That Thing You Do, the Tom Hanks movie about the music yes. band the the Wonders or the Oneeders? Um There was a mid century lamp that was in the entryway <laughs> to the Wonders dressing room at the Hollywood Television Showcase, and this guy that's like what he wants from a move as a movie prop." Wow. That's pretty... Are the Predator suit, somebody said. Stuff from... Uh, oh, that would be cool. The Batmobile. Blues Brothers fedoras. Hmm. Those uh, were cool. Blue, I can see that. Ruby slippers. 
Pee Wee Pee Wee's bike from uh, Pee Wee's Big Adventure. Um, did anybody say? Speaking of cars, did anybody say like Herbie the Love Bug? Didn't see that one. <laughs> the box of chocolates from too. Forrest Gump. <laughs> That's pretty funny. <laughs> Aladdin's magic that carpet. That is funny. Yeah, there's a lot of them on there. If you want to add to it, um, you can do that on our Facebook page. Just search for Maria and Chad. Or you can call us right now. What's our number, Maria? 424-235-3657. Or you can listen to the beginning of the podcast and we'll give you the phone number again. (laughs) Uh, 424-235-3657 on Facebook, on Instagram, at Maria and Chad. And our podcast is now available pretty much everywhere you listen to podcasts. Thanks again for listening to Doing Life with Maria and Chad. Follow us on Instagram at Maria and Chad and Facebook. You can now listen for free in all these places. The Radio.com app on the iHeartRadio app, Spotify, the Amazon Music app, Google Podcasts, Stitcher, TuneIn, Pandora, Podbean, and of course, YouTube. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss a single episode.